What's up my fellow camera nerds? In this video we're going to take a look at the M8's black and white images, but let's also take a look at the color images as well. A lot of people say that the black and whites look like, like as monochrome black and whites. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I can say sometimes it does. I'd say more or less though, it does have a special look to the black and whites. You can definitely see what all the fuss is about with this particular camera. It's just got some beautiful, beautiful tones all around. I do have a dead pixel on this camera, so I do have to go in and edit that out of the images. But other than that, these are pretty much straight out of camera. If you're curious about the settings that I'm using, I'm using on the color saturation, just black and white, of course, for the black and white JPEGs. And the contrast is set to high. And then, of course, I'm shooting the DNG files as well, so I have the raw color files as well. And I just absolutely love these colors. The colors on the camera really pop, they shine, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it, well you get to see them right here. Um, to me, they're beautiful. I just thought that this would be a cool place to actually do some sample images. We went out and shot some putt-putt golf, and I know there's a lot of colors right here, so I figured why not just go ahead and do a little test sample right here. Now, of course I was trying to, to spend family time, so that uh, was all I could do is just try to cut, grab a couple of pictures as we're doing the round of golf because um, we did have people behind us as well. So a few of them were the exposure was not the greatest and my focusing uh, wasn't too bad on some of them but some of them were pretty bad. So I'm just kind of showing you the best that I got as we were going through the, uh, the little putt-putt golf course there at uh, CityWalk Universal. And just uh, some of the scenes are really cool, and I thought the colors just looked so good coming out of this camera. I'm just so shocked that for a camera that's so old, you know, with the 10 megapixel sensor, you just think it wouldn't be enough, and it is. You're not going to be able to zoom in or crop in like you do on other images, but I think for what it is, it really does render kind of a filmic look. I absolutely love this camera. I love shooting with it. It's, it's a fun experience. And more or less, this video is just for those that really want to see truly what the colors look like coming straight out of camera. If anyone's curious, I did use the TT Artisan 35mm f1.4. Some of the colors is really odd because some of them look super saturated. I didn't adjust any saturation levels on, on the pictures whatsoever. That's just how it looks right there. <laughs> I'm pretty shocked. Um, yeah, I can't say much for the pictures themselves. They're not great, but I was just trying to... Um, to spot little pieces of color where I could and grab images there. Just like this uh, Voodoo Donut, I just thought it looked so good with the, the color tones that they have right there. I am giving away three of my film cameras. If you'd like to be in the giveaway, it's very simple. All you have to do is like and comment in this video. Subscribe if you're not already. I've linked another video in the description. Just head on over to that video, leave a comment with the keyword giveaway, and that's it. You're entered to win.